After severe brain injury, one of the key challenges is for neurologists and critical care physicians to determine the prognosis of the patient. Who will do well and who won't do well? Families need to know that, the healthcare team needs to know that in order to make decisions regarding continuing uh, supportive care for patients. One of the most promising tools uh, in development for the prognosis of these patients is functional magnetic resonance imaging. Doing research on fMRI in intensive care units, though, is, is very difficult. Uh, there are ethical challenges, and these haven't been adequately sort of characterized to date. In our paper in BRAIN, we lay out for the first time an ethical framework for researchers and research ethics committees as they design, conduct, and review functional MRI studies in the intensive care unit context. So the challenges in the intensive care unit when we're doing research on functional MRI are numerous. The first ones that we encounter are really working with the, the patient's family because the patient's not able to make decisions on their own. So making sure that the family understands what the research entails and what uh, what risks or benefits it may or may not have for their family member. <laughs> Secondly, considering the, just the plain stability of the patient from a medical point of view, so many patients after they've had a severe brain injury will have trouble with high pressures in their brain or with maintaining their blood pressure and so they need to be in particular positions or have lots of medications to help support them. And because of this it can be really difficult and needs to be considered carefully before they're considered to be eligible for the study or can be transported to the fMRI scanner. If fMRI is a non-therapeutic procedure, it's really important that researchers and research ethics committees determine carefully that the risks of fMRI in a particular study are no more than a minor increase above minimal risk. And that's actually quite a rigorous uh, standard for, for studies to pass. Doing research in the intensive care unit or taking care of patients in the intensive care unit takes time. And throughout the whole course of research, whether it's the informed consent process, whether it's the process of preparing to transport a patient or actually uh, doing the research protocol uh, with a participant, it's really important to take the time to make sure it's done properly.